Hello everybody, we are back on Turn Off, Turn On Ventures and we have Andre Stoltz from Eco Earth Tech with us yet again after our first cycling trip uh, at East Coast Park in Singapore. So today we're going to talk business, we're going to talk about the company Eco Earth Tech. Uh, and uh, full disclosure, uh, we are myself and a couple of other investors as well, we have invested as angel investors in Eco Earth Tech as a company. Um, so today we're going to learn more about them. So, Andre, welcome. Sure, uh, thanks. Let's start with an introduction. What exactly is EcoWorth Tech doing? Sure, sure. Uh, first of all, thanks for the opportunity and, and it's good to be back. So, EcoWorth Tech is a clean tech startup company in the water remediation and waste to earth. We are basically out of Singapore and we are currently at our production site where we produce our environmentally friendly super absorbent sponge material the uniqueness of the startup uh, called CFA and uh, we do that by taking a biomass um, feedstock and through a patented process we come up with this kind of material here. So this is the magic material called CFA mm -hmm. and it can absorb a wide range of liquid organics, organics like oils, grease, fats, dyes, solvents, ultra efficient. So up to 190 times its own weight it can absorb it hold it on the inside and uh, like a sponge um, you can imagine this is squeezable and hence we can through mechanical squeezing uh, squeeze out the oils or the organics reuse them and also redeploy the sponge over and over again mm -hmm. and here at EcoF Tech we bring this form this this material into the right form factor so for form factor that means into booms um, filters cartridges in order to apply it uh, to a certain wastewater stream and uh, we apply the material of course in with the objective to treat the wastewater but also to capture available organics in the inside of the material that then can be later on be reused mm. and um, we focus with that of course on the circular economy benefits or how we call it the waste to earth approach and, and even the used up CFA so once this material is squeezed many many times and given it's a 3D structure it will eventually degrade over time and the performance will go down but even then this material has a second life and road constructions or soil amendment. So it's many pieces that come together to form this, this multiple reuse and several ways to work uh, approach. So that's, that's a great introduction. Um, I think one of the, the big reasons why um, we invested in the company is, is this concept of circularity which is quite different because um, CFA or carbon fiber aerogel is not a new material it, there, there are other people producing CFA um, but what, what is unique is that the way you guys produce CFA is through waste material as you mentioned Correct. Um, and there's a huge carbon story behind that do you think you can share a bit more about how carbon moves through your, your system and your process? Sure, sure. Um, so yes, we, we do take a cellulosic based biomass. So that can be either a natural waste material from, from trees or, or branches. So husk, fibers, um, these are type of the material that we can take. Uh, we also can take waste paper, waste carton, as it is, um, as a consumer waste. Or we can use renewable materials like cotton or copper. And the idea is that we bring this material through a controlled burning process into a form that is super hydrophobic, which means the material repels water and is capable of absorbing these hydrophobic organics uh, in a highly efficient manner. And uh, through that process, um, it's called a pyrolysis process, we actually uh, sequester carbon, which means we bring the carbon into a stable form and avoid CO2 emissions with that. So imagine you have, for example, empty fruit bunches in the palm oil industry. It's a huge issue here in Southeast Asia. They degrade in the open, um, they foul, they decompose. And throughout that process, they emit a lot of CO2, right? Um, if we take those and convert it into CFA, uh, we avoid that. So it's a very interesting model as well um, that we still need yet to quantify and to be able to, to uh, fully commercialize but we're doing something good already in the process of producing the material. And then in the second stage then when we use this material to treat a waste stream, 
we do that often very much more efficient versus other technologies out there to treat the water. And uh, um, there's a lot of other technologies also that do not reuse these organics. They just bind it into a filter. Once the filter is, is full, it's saturated, you have to throw away the filter. So the filter material is with the absorbed organics is all gone um, and can't be reused. And that is where we provide the second kind of waste to work approach. So yeah, that's a, yeah. really a couple of true significant benefits that we do. Yeah. And that's why we believe this is really unique and, and breakthrough. Yeah, the, 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 the options that you have in terms of different industries that can use the material and different industries can supply your feedstock for CFA. Right. Um, that's the, the beauty of the model that many of us really appreciate. Um, maybe you can tell our audience a bit about the science uh, behind it because you've shown me a couple of demos that are visually just very interesting and shows off the characteristics of the material. Um, maybe you can run us through those few demos and what, what they show. Sure, sure. So first of all, this, this material has been invented by Singapore Nanyang Technology University, which is very round, renowned for water uh, technologies. From a professor that has been ranked number 14th most influential material scientist in the world. And uh, we have taken this technology um, as part of a licensing deal in a very early stage out of the university. Um, and that has not been an easy journey and took us quite some time, as you can imagine, right? So as a deep tech material focused startup. In the background, actually, you'll see our first, first equipment uh, that we purchased in order to uh, replicate and to improve on the initial results that came out of the university. Uh, we have done that successfully. Um, we have scaled up the technology by 500 times. Um, on this side, we actually have our big production furnace. Uh, with which allows us to produce this material in a 500 times higher uh, quantity than at that time in the university. And moving forward, we even have plans to take that up by another 500 times to produce on a, on a large scale in order to make a much bigger impact. So what, what uh, we are, for example, have been doing throughout that scale-up phase and the validation phase is to bring this material in contact with uh, wastewater from different industries. So we've looked at one side industrial water treatment, focusing on clients that have organics in their wastewater that could anything range from food oils um, to perfume oils, anything that is of, of oily nature, where the client is not capturing the value. And uh, we've been doing tests internally here. We can do before after testing with this material to predict what the performance will be in a larger scale. And also where we work with the clients on, a, on coming up with a business case and seeing that it also financially makes sense. Mm -hmm. So one way for us to simulate a typical very highly contaminated water is to, to add um, vegetable oil into water. We do that with about 7%, um, which is equivalent to about 70,000 ppm oil content, which is very, very high. Uh, and uh, run it through our CFA material in a, in a filter form. And we bring down this, this oil, uh, we are able to remove it by 99.9%, .9%, uh, up to a limit of about 15 ppm, so 1.5, so from 70,000 to 15. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is sufficient here in Singapore to even release it into the environment. It's totally safe. Um, it does not even need to, to be treated um, through the local sewage systems. Um, so you can actually really release it into the environment. But of course, an industrial client would take that, re that, that water and reuse it for their internal operation, mm -hmm. intern operations over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, but interestingly, that then these perfume oils or vegetable oils, those then can be reused as well in the operations and that's what makes it very very interesting yeah yeah um you know when i when i saw that demo with the removal of the oil the water that comes out is, is so clear um even just visually you know that there's a separation of oil and water um and just for the people who are not familiar with with, with, with this area of science um, there's also another demo that you show which i believe is the contact angle test so can you tell me a bit about you know, how oil actually gets separated from water? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So on the contact angle, maybe a bit of a background. When we 
bring this material through a controlled burning process, we remove chemically all the functional groups. And uh, what the controlled heat does is it brings a twisted carbon structure to this material, which is the uniqueness in the process of producing this carbon fiber aerogel compared to other aerogels or other carbon fiber aerogels. And with that is what's happening, it creates on the inside of the material a 3D matrix that has still a very high surface area for organics to bound on, but most interestingly it can capture um, free spaces, or it has free spaces where it can capture the oil on the inside and then hold it very strongly. And that is what exactly happens with uh, the wastewater when we bring the material into contact. The oil will be repelled, uh, sorry, the water will be repelled and the oil will be attracted um, to the hydrophobicity of the material and then be held in the inside of the material. And one way of, of showing how good uh, the quality of our production is and how efficient uh, that process works is the hydrophobicity test. So, and here we, we just bring the material into, into a finer, uh, more even surface and then we apply a water droplet on it. And uh, you can see from the shape of the water droplet that on a normal surface um, it would uh, not form a droplet. It would rather be a bit more of a flat surface, like a mountain. But on our material, when we uh, apply just, just a very fine layer, you can really see how the water droplet is almost forming a ball and, and, and floating on top of the surface. And that for us is a very visual, simple um, confirmation that the material is of good quality. Uh, and, and, and the second test for hydrophobicity is by us taking this material and, and bringing it underwater. And uh, what you can see here is that uh, it does form a silvery, shiny, almost mirror layer on it, which, say, which shows that air is trapped within the CFA into the, into the material. And when we submerge it into water, the water does not penetrate it. Right? And uh, compared to, let's say, the raw form of a, of a biomass, a cotton or something, would just soak up the water and not show any hydrophobicity. And uh, that is another very easy visual way for us to, to showcase uh, mm -hmm. the performance of the material. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, that, that mirror effect was, um, today was the first time I saw it, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you showed it to me. Um, I wanted to talk a bit more about your, your journey um, in, in running the company. Right? There must be some moments that kind of stay with you and, and then you know, as an entrepreneur's journey, people don't really understand or, or can, can empathize with certain times where you are just so proud of, of, of taking a step forward. Is there a, a time like this for you? Oh yes, for sure. I mean, this journey has not been, not been an easy one, uh, but very rewarding as well. So I would say I, there's two or three key moments which stand out. Uh, the first one definitely at the time when we were able to convince the world's first group of private investors to invest in us by showcasing that we can get the results uh, replicated, improved out of a university sterile environment, lab environment, and found clients that support us with a trial. And getting the first 500,000 is for an early stage startup is a huge success. And with that then enables, of course, you to buy your own equipment to hire the first one, two, three people who go with you through that, that journey and to be able eventually to move into um, your own place. Mm -hmm. And that is, that is just so rewarding that the journey of building something had started. Mm -hmm. I would say another a second moment was when we were showcasing um, our journey, the vision we have and the impact we want to create to the public by participating in startup competitions. And uh, we got awarded sustainability sector winner at, at the Slingshot event here in Singapore, which is one of the Global, one of the biggest startup competitions organized by, by the government here. Um, and that was one huge validation that there is something about our technology solutions that the world needs, mm -hmm. that uh, investors believe in. And that during that same event, we also won another um, collaborations agreement with. Uh, a company to test out CFA and these of course are then these awarding moments uh, which gives you the energy um, 
to sustain even longer, yeah. right? Yeah. And make you look back and say, wow, all the hard work, the sweat, yeah. uh, the, uh, the bootstrapping and the hardship you put in is now being seen as something that has potential and that, yeah. that motivates me and the team yeah. incredibly to move forward. That's, that's really good. Yeah. And then maybe the last, the third, third item uh, was just recently when uh, oil refinery client, one of the bigger ones, tested our material over a three to five months process in and out and, and loved it so much that they became not only our first customer but potentially told us that they want to co-invest in the next funding round. And that of course is super rewarding to actually have now a customer that sees the benefits of the solution and is, and is willing to support us uh, in bringing this yeah, solutions globally. Yeah, well, I'm very happy to hear these moments. I think these are the these are the stories that people on the outside don't, don't really get to hear. But it, it, it's also the kind of stories when shared, you, you feel. Um, I feel so proud for the company. I feel so happy for the for the company as well. Um, maybe we, we can we can end up with your vision for Eco Web Tech. What is the moonshot ideal for for where this company is headed to? I mean, we, we target to become the preferred waste-to-work solutions provider, right? Um, by providing incredible impact to environment and society, by taking huge amounts of waste biomass, whether that is food bunches from the palm oil industries, husk fibers. Um, we want to also enable um, local communities to take their natural waste, convert it, and then to treat local waste streams. And then, of course, for, for water treatment, we want to make impact on, on an environmentally friendly way to clean water, to reuse the water, but then also um, to be able to uh, remove oil in much larger scale, right? So to impact maritime industries, oil and gas, and eventually the oil spill, right? Mm -hmm. So today, there's the ecosystem, the marine life suffers whenever there's oil leaking into the ocean. And there's, there's um, very few ways that are very efficient of, of addressing those. And our material, I think, can make a very much difference. Not harming the environment, taking up the oil, reusing the oil. Um, and uh, that's where we want to make an impact in the future. And, and all of that made possible using someone else's waste material. Right. Yes. That's, that's just the beauty of, of, of this, this process and this product. That, um, I'm so glad to, to be an investor and, and, and a friend and, and getting to know yourself and the team and, and being a part of this journey. So thank you so much for having me here at your facility, sharing with me your journey. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed learning about e-commerce tech from Andre and see you next time. Yes, and also thanks from my side. It's great to have you in the team, a believer to a supporter of our journey and uh, whoever is interested to to become part of our journey, please feel free to reach out. Thanks so much.